One of the most commonly asked questions I've been getting on Instagram these days are on collagen supplements. How do they work? Do they work? And should you be taking them? Well, keep watching because I'm going to be answering all of that and more. My name is Dr. Jenny Liu. I'm a board certified dermatologist in Minneapolis and welcome to my YouTube channel. So supplements are huge these days. Skin, hair, nail supplements to hair loss supplements to now collagen supplements. So collagen is an essential part of our skin, of our cartilage, our joints, tendon. In our skin, it serves a really important role not only to provide structural integrity and support but it also keeps us looking younger and unfortunately collagen is one of those things that we do start to lose starting in our late 20s and 30s accelerated by ultraviolet radiation exposure smoking poor lifestyle habits in addition to what as dermatologists preach about with sunscreen, skincare, retinoids, using your alpha hydroxy acids, or just sticking to an effective, consistent skincare routine, which is by far the most important thing that you can do for your skin. Taking care of your body, eating a well-balanced diet, exercising, making sure you're getting good enough sleep, minimize the alcohol and don't smoke. All those things are going to be really, really important. Now, do collagen supplements have a role in that in keeping your skin looking younger, and healthier. Let's talk about why should you be taking collagen supplements. So collagen supplements claim to make your skin look more hydrated, look younger, help with some of the signs of aging, keeping your joints more lubricated and functioning better. But do they actually work? So a couple of things to think about before you start taking any sort of supplements, right? First of all, your body has to digest that and then absorb into your bloodstream. And then it has to be taken from the bloodstream into the targeted tissue, which here is your skin, for it to have an effect. For the most part, there shouldn't be an issue with taking it and digesting it. The problem is, is that your body is not smart enough to know that, oh, this collagen supplement contains mostly amino acids that helps to build collagen. Let's shuffle this preferentially to the skin. Your body does not have any way of knowing that. Arguably, collagen supplements doesn't do more for your skin besides just eating a well-balanced diet. Interestingly enough, there are a handful of studies that have looked at collagen supplements for skin and joint health. Here is what they have found. Collagen supplements have been shown in some of these studies over the course of 60 days to improve the skin hydration, skin elasticity, and thereby reducing the appearance of fine lines. So what is the idea behind that? These are precursor amino acids that are needed for collagen production. So when you already have that readily available to your skin, it's a lot easier for your skin to make collagen. Therefore, hopefully the goal would be to increase collagen production. Secondarily, what I think is maybe helping here is that number one, these amino acids can act as humectants and when taken to your skin, help to draw water to your skin and could be a signal to your skin, to the fibroblasts in your skin to make more proteoglycans like hyaluronic acid and other sugar protein based molecules that are just going to help to draw water and temporarily improve the skin hydration and elasticity. And lastly, there may be some thoughts that these hydrolyzed collagen peptides may somehow affect the degree the uh, collagen is broken down in your skin. All of these are just theoretical hypotheses, maybe at best proven in laboratory studies in cells or say animal models. Nothing really have been shown in clinical studies except for more observation in the sense where a group of individuals were to take these supplements and they measured the skin hydration status afterwards. And that is really what's been shown. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind is that when you do look at these studies, the end point for many of these studies are 60 days out. Now, collagen synthesis takes time and the degree of collagen synthesis that is needed to make those actual true changes in your skin is just not possible at 60 days. So in 60 days, when the studies of the subjects are reported to have better hydration, elasticity. That makes sense because that seems like it's fairly quick. You're drying water to your skin. That can be very instant, right? But the improvement in fine lines and wrinkles is mostly due to the improvement in skin hydration. By no means are you able to produce collagen at that rate at 60 days to have a noticeable improvement in the fine lines and wrinkles. Also, a lot of these supplements are formulated with other antioxidants like Q10, vitamins, and hyaluronic 
acid. So it's really hard to say, is it truly the hydrolyzed collagen peptides that's doing the work or is it everything combined or is it maybe mostly those antioxidants, right? So as I mentioned earlier, only a handful of well-structured clinical studies have really shown that collagen supplements may be helpful. Most of these are industry sponsors. So, you know, have to take into account there's probably some inherent bias to start. But these supplements are taken and the assessment that is really done is just using a skin probe to look at skin hydration. Only one of these had a biopsy done on like one or two people to assess for improvement in collagen synthesis. So the sample size is way too small. We need a lot more studies to say, do collagen supplements truly improve collagen production within the skin? Now, you really want to try some collagen supplements. What should you buy? What should you be looking for if you really want to try? Studies have shown that only hydrolyzed collagen peptides in the form of dye tripeptides, predominantly with proline and hydroxyproline amino acid, have really been shown to be effective. So just getting any random collagen powder is not going to do the trick. You have to really look for the dye and tripeptides containing proline and hydroxyproline. Usually the doses are between two to five grams daily and results are somewhat evident between 60 to 90 days. So there you go. That's kind of what you want to look for. Take it because they're yummy and they're, you know, delicious. But I would say you should not expect collagen supplements to do miracles for your skin. It should not replace your skincare routine. I think for someone that have a really good established skincare routine and you want to do something extra, whether it's for the added additional protein benefit or you want to just try something to improve the hydration of your skin, by all means, go for it, especially if the supplement is within your budget. But don't feel like you are missing out if you cannot afford it or nor do you want to take it. Using sunscreen, having a consistent, doable skincare routine, eating healthy, exercising, having a healthy lifestyle is going to be way more important. So there you go, guys. That is my short spiel on collagen supplements, whether you should take it or not, and the science behind it. Let me know if you enjoy taking any of the supplements. And if you do, what is your favorite brand? Again, thank you so much for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye.